Hello there guys, look, would you give me here? So I came up with a very interesting folk build on Kha'Zix um, That you can actually utilize. So how does the poke build itself work and what do you rely on? You pretty much need ethereal weapons to make this build work. Now we also have accelerating sorcery for even more spammy W's and so in here your goal is to evolve W as fast as possible but I only got the like, augment later on so I chose to go for a Q upgrade and so in here it's very simple what you do you shouldn't think like this because they kind of smash my head and they kind of do actually but I assume I should know my limits here a little bit no? Eh, it should be fine though is it? Eh, it should be fine We have too much cooldown at this point, we are not really, we dodged the Q really nicely. And so right now it will come online, uh, don't know, I just had to jump away. But like, no, 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 probably wasn't really a danger, I just jumped away there. So your goal is to upgrade W as fast as possible, uh, just to be clear, on your W you will get a decent amount of damage, but also notably you're gonna proc your unseen threat, you're gonna proc your Prowler's Claw, well, also notably, of course, you're gonna get extra damage from Duskblade, you know, when people are, you're gonna get maximum amount of fire, 25 percentage, under 70 percentage HP. Uh, well, also notably, you should actually even go Essence Reaver, just because uh, it provides cooldown, attack damage, everything that's like nice to have. While also it provides a very important on-hit proc, the Essence Reaver proc itself. Uh, now this also, of course, will provide you more damage than the alternative of Hellfire Hatchet. And there isn't really like a, another item that provides you this amount of damage. I would tell you to go Hatchet only specifically if you face some extreme tanks. Now Scion is very very tanks, Warwick not so much. In here you do get away for not going for Hatchet, but generally speaking, if they are very very tank, um, generally you should go for it. And you guys are gonna see how Poke Kha'Zix performs. Now if you wanna have even more frequent Pokes, you could arguably go Yoni and Boots. I even played the Seal Caps because they are very heavy on like basic attackers, AD champs. But also notably for accelerating sorcery, I get a lot amount of cooldown anyways. So I kinda prefer to actually not go for it, but 100% like you can get both of them. I can get both cooldown moves and this, but I prefer to prefer to have some defensive sets because I get wiped, get wiped quite quickly. So you can see, like that didn't deal damage because he had that dance and he had Eon. That's why it looked like it dealt no damage. But generally speaking, that dance uh, makes it look a bit more. Ooh, the damage is nasty, huh? But Cassandra just f's them up, huh? Cassandra just f's them up, huh? And it's GG. It's GG. Yep, as you can visually see, everything procs, right? Now, you got a dash, by the way, for Prowler's Crow, right? So that's like a specific condition, like you got a dash to get a proc of it or wood. Uh, this is nice, but you know that what's interesting? Your W will proc red. <laughs> <laughs> because you proc on hit effects and cooldown and mana is just nice to have. Uh, you know, just so you'll be able to have more pokes. Now in here you wanna get crutch at this point, you kinda wanna get that extra damage, it's very nice. The slow doesn't stack too well now that we got Prowlers and W upgraded, but it's still decent to have nonetheless. Um, alternatively to this you could go Hatchet, but uh, actually we could go Hatchet in here. Just because they're not extremely high on armor, are they? They're, mm, Vi has some, but it's dead then, so it's not, that shouldn't be a big deal. It even favors us. It even so does favor us. Oh, he actually insults me. It's, that's a bit of a bummer. I just, just did, get, did get one shot at, but the good thing is Cassandra is full HP, as his Super Saiyan form. Uh, well also he can revive me anyway so it shouldn't be a big deal because at least he didn't damage him while he had great boss on. So actually I should been, I should play way more defensively because obviously they realize that they shouldn't actually uh, be too fixated on uh, hitting the raid boss since that they should hit me to get a kill on me before he spawns but again they didn't kill Cassante so this should be fine. Um, now what else does Proc on hit? Now alternatively to this I've there aren't like many other items, um, so I would recommend you to go grudge because you really need that uh, pen. And so now, now we are actually quite insane at poking. Like, for example, if I dash, uh, this ability can deal around 1k, 1k damage, right? So generally speaking, you'll be able to like get a lot of damage value out of this poke build. Um, 
and and often like even if you don't get this um, ethereal weapon sometimes you have to poke like you're literally in a game where you are playing poke Isaac still you get to all in so there is like an emphasis on like W spamming for a while till you get to all in and they have kind of the type of uh, they actually have the type of champs where you kind of want to do that like in here I cannot go in because Nunu kind of F's me so I do in here I just W spam till he gets his form because if I go in Nunu gonna ult me Lee gonna keep up oh. speak of the devil oh my god but such a stupid feature man you cannot click it if you're on it, I don't get it why is it made that way, but it's something that's really made just to piss off people, honestly. L like, you, you you cannot come up with a better reason just to piss off people. And it should be GG. <laughs> like, that's just made to piss off people. AoE damage, so we could go Rebonus, so have more AoE damage because they have two melee champs, it's kinda nice to have more AoE. Uh, upgrade R, most likely, go for cooldown and AD, and so now this does over 1k. Really easily, if I dash I get my Prowler, so this is really easily... Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Over 1k poke, okay. Yep. Over one that 3k poke on Kazix. Because if you calculate in the tick damage from Hellfire Hatchet, right? Camille ult, okay. Why well, can I miss that actually? I actually cannot walk in because of Nunu. So I have to. Oh my, that's why I can't walk in, but I thought Kale ult was gone, I was like I can maybe on, I can't, I, I genuinely couldn't, <laughs> like they, they have that type of comp, you, you can't, like genuinely you cannot. I think he wipes me. They one shot me. It's weird, but they one shot me. Like I have to literally be the annoying Kazix, and now I can go in. No, no, this one third, this one third. Because uh, like you saw, but he does did right. Because look, you look at his build, his full vitality. So you go in, you jump in. What's gonna happen? You're gonna get kicked. You're gonna get killed, and you're wiped. So in this type of situations, you're poke Kazix till you get to all in. That's why there is like so much emphasis on going for poking oriented items. Uh, of course, even in games where you sh shouldn't necessarily go poke Kha'Zix, you still can go poke Kha'Zix if you feel like it's really consistent, if, if it's the most consistent way of winning. Um, just wanted to show off that Kha'Zix can actually be really easily played in a poking way, where you're gonna deal a lot of damage on your W as well, not only specifically on your Q. And usually people make like high damage videos, uh, high, damage Q, high Q damage videos about Kha'Zix, but your W can hurt as well with a specific type of... Uh, augment set. That's it for now guys. Have a nice day.